the perfect coffee for your brain. Research shows that coffee, healthy coffee, is great for your brain, great for your body, and reduces the risk of neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's disease and Parkinson's disease. Really great for Parkinson's disease. Here's what's in the perfect coffee. Number one, your perfect coffee is organic. Why? Because coffee in the United States is the second most pesticided crop, second only to cotton and pesticides are neurotoxic. They can damage neurons in your brain, in your body. You don't want that. So organic coffee is essential. Number two, it is, it is free of dairy and refined sugar. Refined sugar causes inflammation. That can increase the risk of Alzheimer's disease. Dairy uh, not only creates inflammation in most people, dairy also prevents the absorption of many of the polyphenols that make coffee healthy. Coffee is rich in polyphenols, which is a fancy word for uh, plant, uh, antioxidants that are really good for your brain, really good for your body and your gut bacteria. So dairy free and free of refined sugar. If you want sweet coffee, which I do, uh, use stevia, monk fruit sugar, erythritol, allulose, or, or nothing at all. Those, those, those are the things. So that, that's part two. Part three is MCT oil. Half a tablespoon to a full tablespoon of MCT oil. I like this company, Nature's Way. I'm not sponsored by them. I would gladly be sponsored by them. I use this, it's great. Half a tablespoon up to a full tablespoon, too much. You can get disaster pants. That will leave you, leave you running for the bathroom. Start slowly with that. Everything above that is, is, is bonus. Anything else that you can put in your coffee that's good for your brain is a bonus once you got those three things covered. Organic, free of dairy and sugar, and MCT oil. Some things that I like to add to my coffee to, to improve brain function are number one, I like to add cinnamon, Cylon cinnamon, C-E-Y-L-O-N cinnamon. I put it in a big jar. Cylon cinnamon is also known as true cinnamon. It smells great. It's lighter in color, tastes sweet. Uh, cinnamon's anti antioxidant, anti-inflammatory, and improves memory in healthy adults, according to research studies. If you want to see Cylon cinnamon written, that's a supplement. That's one of the supplements that I take. You want at least 750 milligrams of cinnamon a day. So think half a tablespoon to a tablespoon. I haven't seen any overdoses of cinnamon. Cylon cinnamon. I've seen overdoses of cassia cinnamon. Don't take cassia cinnamon. That's really dark brown stuff uh, that doesn't taste very good. Cassia cinnamon is shown to hurt people's liver in larger doses. Cylon cinnamon has not shown that. You'll probably get a stomach ache if you take too much cinnamon. So I, I don't recommend more than a tablespoon a day. That'd be a lot. I'd recommend closer to a teaspoon a day. Um, and check with your medical doctor first, of course. Another thing you can add to your coffee that is good is turmeric or curcumin and with a little black pepper. That is really good. Curcum curcumin and turmeric uh, and reduce inflammation and protect your brain from inflammation. Also help reduce uh, the accumulation of plaque in your brain. That's a really big deal. Something that's great for your skin, hair, and bones is collagen protein. I get this from Costco. I'm not sponsored by them either. I like this product. Uh, Vital Proteins, it tastes like chocolate. And so my coffee tastes like chocolate. I'm drinking some right here. I like this bear on this mug. Um, so those are the th that's how to make the perfect coffee. Number one, organic. Number two, free of dairy and sugar. Number three, MC2 oil, anything after that is a bonus. And the perfect coffee is something that you enjoy drinking that you will drink on a regular basis. You don't need to have it every day. I have, co I have coffee or tea or matcha most days. Um, so find a coffee that you love and drink it regularly. Make sure it's a perfect coffee, organic, free of dairy and, sh dairy and sugar, and with MCT oil, and you're good. Add some spices if you want. Oregano can also go well. Rosemary can also go well. All these things can be added to coffee, but you don't need to if you don't like the taste. So find a coffee that works for you and, and do it every day, and this can be really helpful for your brain and reduce the risk of Alzheimer's and neurodegenerative diseases. Side note. Parkinson's disease. Coffee reduces the risk of Parkinson's disease by 15%. Why? Because caffeine increases the, re the release of dopamine and uh, decrease in dopamine is associated with Parkinson's disease. So really helpful with Parkinson's disease. Interestingly, smoking is as well. I don't recommend smoking cigarettes, but smoking cigarettes is shown to reduce the risk of Parkinson's disease as well. Really interesting research there. So I hope this is helpful to you. My name's Robert Love. I'm a neuroscientist. I specialize in helping people prevent Alzheimer's disease with science. I have a couple of requests for you. Number one, if you want more long form content, go to the link above and subscribe to my YouTube station. Number two, if you have a question, post it below. Number three, if you have a video you want me to make with regard to Alzheimer's disease, brain health, or longevity, post that below. Number four, if you're going to take action, if you are going to make more healthy coffee, if you're going to make the perfect coffee, please put that below and serve as a model for others. And please share this video with people who will, who will benefit. Have a wonderful day. God bless you.